What's up everyone? My name is Kyle Baldwin and today I'm going to show you how to fix the short battery life issue on the Gigabyte Aero laptop. First, my experience with the Gigabyte Aero laptop has been great, though the battery life has been reprehensibly short. I mean, it's really bad. When watching Netflix or YouTube videos, I would only get about two hours of battery life, maybe three if I was web browsing, but sometimes it would even drop 1% a minute just sitting on a desktop. After much research through Reddit forums, I read that some users thought the issue lied in the Gigabyte's control center software, so they would factory restart their laptop to completely disable it. That would fix their issue, and they would have better battery life. However, they lost control of adjusting the fan speed, enabling GPU dynamic boost, changing the RGB keyboard lighting, and the ability to use the function keys. But wait! One user stated he created a simple batch file to kill the control center process. The benefits of doing this, rather than deleting Gigabyte's control center, are that you can still use the control center for adjusting the fan speed, GPU, no, GPU dynamic boost, keyboard lighting, and the function keys. All of which is very useful for me while regularly using this laptop to create videos, consume media, and play video games. All right, so to create the batch file, we're gonna go over to Notepad here, and then we're gonna start writing a script. So the script is gonna go at echo space off. Enter, enter. And then we're going to write the line of code that will disable the control center from the background. And that's going to go task kill forward slash I am space control center dot exe space slash f. Enter, enter and write exit. Okay, so what we're gonna do is save this as, we're gonna save it as whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna do test kill control center and then dot bat. You have to write dot bat at the end because that'll save it as a batch file. And I'm just gonna save this to the desktop. All right. And you can see it right here. All right, so I'm gonna X out of this. Now, if you don't wanna have to right click as administrator every single time, you can simply create a shortcut. And we're gonna do this by right clicking on it. And then first, we're gonna go create a shortcut. And then second, we're gonna go down to the properties of the shortcut. And then right here under advanced, you can uh, click this tab here, run as administrator. So every single time you double click the shortcut, it'll run as administrator. So it just saves you a bit of time. Apply and okay. And then you can store this first one anywhere in your documents if you don't wanna leave it on the screen. Okay. So what we're gonna do here, show you, is control center is open now. And then I'll just double click on the shortcut that we just created. Yes, and it's out. Now this next part is just for reference. I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean when uh, control center isn't running in the background. So you would open up the command prompt and to show everything that's running, you would type in task list and hit enter. And this shows everything in the background of the computer that's running. And then right at the bottom here, you can see control center. So when you type in that code, even on the command prompt here or through the shortcut with the batch file we created, it completely ends it. So I'll show you again with the create uh, the shortcut that we just created. Yes, it closes it. So it's still here because that's the, from the first task that we wrote. Let's write it again. And it's not here anymore. It would be right in this area. So that shows you that it's definitely not running the background anymore. So that's all there is to it. With this fix, I now get over five hours of battery life watching Netflix or YouTube videos. If you use this laptop and you find this fix helpful, please leave a comment below on how it helped you and give it a thumbs up so other users of the laptop can also find this video useful for them. Also consider subscribing if you want to see more videos of this laptop as well. Thanks.